DC here. Hi guys and gals. Well, it is a lunch break on December 5th, 2017. Yeah. yeah, I think that's probably the first real vlog, if I don't count that Facebook live video that I put up, which was at midnight. I don't think I've put anything up since. No, I haven't. Yeah, I was reading in the New York Times. Uh, yeah, I do read there sometimes. <laughs> Now, it, it, for a lot of things, it's it, it's a good newspaper. It's very biased politically, but it's a good newspaper. And uh, there was this article. Uh, I got it actually here. Loneliness can be deadly for elders. Friends are the antidote. Well, there, it, you know, it goes on about, I guess we could say, things that one could expect, you know, especially when you arrive at... Uh, an advanced age that you're going to more funerals than anything else and that you are losing all your friends and that usually at, in the older age you make acquaintances and don't automatically make friends and they were giving a few examples of you know similar I was going to say the contrary very often though based on people that with like I say advanced age over 90 often <laughs> and that would live in um, elderly homes. So, yeah, you know, it's kind of true, I guess, that if you're in a home, you will meet more people, maybe, I say maybe, than when you're living at home. On the other hand, I mean, if you look at many senior residences for the advance, for very old people, you know, they're not very often they're not always communicating that much with the others i mean it's it's at a, if they go young enough i suppose now one of the things i was thinking about that is actually it's talking about uh social contact and so on and uh, we are looking at least in this article they were talking probably about a lot of people that are not yet very savvy as far as electronics go what I'm getting at is that if you take people already of our age, like I'm our age, <laughs> you see, I'm already expecting that you're about my age. I mean, I'll be 60 this year, and I know that a lot of the people that I hang around with on Facebook or YouTube are either slightly younger, in their mid-50s, you know, or, or, or slightly older. Uh, but the thing is, is that if you look at the what's going on for us, is that we do have some type of... Uh, social contact. It's called social media, isn't it? A lot of the things that we do. So I was wondering on my own, is that, I mean, does that replace, you know, real flesh person contacts? Up to a point, I'd say yes. Uh, that's where I bring into the fact of uh, pushing it often one step further and going to, uh, I was going to say, be it Skype or whatever, where you can actually talk and have debates or talk about something or listen and uh, you know hearing and listening uh, going like I say one step further than the typed word as for in Facebook or even vlogging like I'm doing now where it's after a, a period that you know what people think that's it's kind of an interesting thing I was wondering you know like myself I was thinking, well, okay, I have a lot of contact, and I've talked about this many times already with people I probably wouldn't, so I kind of, like, get out in the world that way, but it's it's delayed. It's delayed by time. Um, the best example that I have, I find of people that live, a person who lives alone, well, I can think of two, but, I mean, one that lives alone but does get around a little bit is uh, Dave Nicholson. I mean, so he goes for his coffee and has a friend a, a, a circle of friends nevertheless but he talks about his regular things with us and we answer back so we have this rapport take about uh, Andy Fekwig with his uh, with his taxi vlog some people are coming right now they're going to be saying what the heck is he doing so I mean if you take and put all that together I mean it's quite interesting about the fact that uh, many of us have created a, a social network a real, a real social network uh, thanks to our online lives. Now, uh, the thing is, maybe one can look at, is that as you get older, um, do you lose... There's a dog coming up to me now. Yeah. 
So you can actually wonder if you get all uh, Daddy. Ah, bonjour. No, it's a problem. Il pas dérangé. So you can actually wonder as you get older, um, how does your, I was going to say, your social capabilities, do they go up, do they go down? You're not in a, in a world maybe where you get to talk so, so much with people. And then again, that, that depends very much on what is your social world. Are you in clubs? Are you in a church? Uh, are you in some type of uh, help group or, or whatever, you know? So it's an open question. I mean, I think that the article, I mean, it's like I say, it's called Loneliness Can Be Deadly for Elders and Friends. And, and the friends are the antidote. And it's in the health section of the, of the New York Times if you want to go and read it. It's an interesting, it's an interesting article. But you know what's also interesting is the, uh, to go read the comments that people write. Because, for example, a lot of things that come out in here, of course, and that one person commented, is that very often we're talking about women. Now, the interactions with men are very often different. You know, men between men and so on and uh, stuff like that. Yeah, so it, it's an interesting article. One thing that came out to me that kind of made me smile they were talking about researchers at University of California, San Francisco. Yeah, okay. Followed 1,600 participants, average age 71. <laughs> That's not that old, so I don't know if that was relevant anyway. So that's it. That's it. That's all. Today is Thursday. I hope you have a nice day. And I'm going to finish off this vlog here, so just tell me what you think about it. Okay. DC signing off. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.